Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to connect an Xbox Series controller to an Android device. Now, if you wanna see the written version of how to get this done, you can find a link to my website in the video description. And before we dive in, I understand the irony that I'm wearing a Mario shirt while I'm talking about an Xbox controller. I realize what shirt I'm wearing now that I'm looking at myself in the reflection of the camera. I'm just too lazy to change my shirt because of all the lighting setup and whatnot. So yeah, I'm not the smartest guy around. So uh, I, I get that. It's, <laughs> I already established that part. Um, so anyway, continuing on, this process is incredibly easy. The one thing I want to mention is that when you get to the steps on doing it on an Android device, the steps that I show you might be different from compared to what you see on your Android device. The reason being is because sometimes manufacturers, like in my example, Samsung has their own custom skin overlay. So the options to select are similar. It's just it might look slightly different. It's not a big deal. One thing to keep in mind is if you're looking to make this work with a certain game or app on your Android device, there's no guarantee it's gonna work. So even if the controller pairs with your Android device, if the developers didn't make it compatible with an Xbox Series controller, well, you're kind of out of luck at that point. Um, but that's it, we can dive into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn on the controller itself. To do that, you're gonna press and hold the Xbox button on the controller until it lights up. If you have it connected to a console, it'll turn it on, just like it did behind me. It's not a problem. What you wanna do is walk over to your Xbox console, press and hold the Xbox button until the light flashes a few times and eventually the console will power down. Going back to the controller, you want to put it in Bluetooth pairing mode while it's on. So in order to do that, it's super easy. You want to press and hold the sync button on the top of the controller for a few seconds until the Xbox button on the controller starts to flash. When it starts to flash, that's when you know it's in pairing mode. Now I want to jump over to your Android device. Okay, so on your Android device, what you want to do is open up the main system settings menu. And again, what you see here might be slightly different from you because I'm using a Samsung device. Um, but again, the basic functions here are relatively the same. You want to look for something like Bluetooth or connections, depending on your menu. But basically in my situation, I'm looking for connections because you want to tap on the Bluetooth feature. Make sure Bluetooth is on, of course, and then go into Bluetooth itself. And then you want to look for uh, newly available devices. You might have to scroll down to see that, depending on how your device works. Okay, so as you can see, the first available device found is the Xbox wireless controller. I'm going to tap on it. Just wait for it to get a warning. Hey, do you want to pair? Hit yes. And, and uh, in my situation, because I'm using a Samsung device, I got this pop-up, just ignore it if you get that too. But as you can see, the controller is paired. If for any reason it failed, just give it a shot again um, and it should be good to go. In fact, what I'm doing right now is actually using the controller to navigate this uh, options menu, um, using the D-pad to go up and down. Uh, that's a quick way to quickly test if it is compatible and working with your Android device. So as you can see, it was super easy. Now, if again, you're in my situation and you have an Xbox console, which is right down here, this little black box right here. Um, you want to pair it back to the console, super easy. You're going to go to your controller while the controller is on and double tap the sync button at the top and then it'll flash a couple times and it's automatically paired back to your Xbox console and you're done. So that's pretty much a wrap. So if you found this video useful, be sure to check out my social links and website link in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.